Hello everyone, just another video from uh, Random Stuff uh, regarding my Galaxy S2. This is to try and illustrate which um, favorite ROM um, I am using as my daily driver. Over the past year and a half I've used uh, basically every single ROM I could get my hands on from various websites including the, the main one which is the Galaxy uh, S2 ROMs.com and um, I've tried various ones such as the Slim Bean, the Revolt, um, uh, Vanilla Root Box, uh, then uh, I tried Resurrection Remix which was my favourite for quite a while, uh, moving on to uh, Omega uh, version 12 which was great uh, and then uh, narrowing it down to my two most favourite ones uh, and probably my favourite is the one that I'm not using which is called the uh, Extreme uh, ROM running 4.22 uh, version 9 currently which you can get from the XDA developers websites uh, see the description below for uh, links to that the reason I'm not using that particular ROM is because I'm having some problems in my workplace whereby for some reason I can connect to uh, every Wi-Fi that I go to including my home Wi-Fi but it doesn't work at my workplace I'm, I've been told it's something to do with the B, the G and the N connections for Wi-Fi but uh, I'm not too sure why that is happening. If you do have any suggestions or know how to get that to work, please do let me know, as that, that would be very appreciated, as it is my favorite ROM. My second, and uh, on a par ROM really, is the MyUI version 5. If we go into the um, settings, uh, we've got down the bottom, about phone, we've got version 3.7.12. I got this update yesterday. Uh, on Friday, uh, as it's quite late now in the early hours of Saturday morning in the UK. For me, this was an over-the-air update, so I updated the previous version, which was, I think it was 3.7.5, and um, it was quite a smooth, fast uh, update with a uh, full change log of the various changes, uh, mainly the, uh, the camera was one of the ones that I found quite useful. It actually focuses before it takes the shot. Um, if you're going to use my UI, you probably want to get used to the different um, way of doing things. It just slightly looks different, but you'll get used to it very quickly. The toggles are quite nice. You can modify uh, which ones you see here. Uh, you go into any application and you, you click on it. Uh, you, this is my Nova launcher, favorite launcher. I've just locked my desktop any application you can actually look at the app information and you have to set the um, behavior for notifications for pop-ups you can go into the permission management and say whether you trust the application whether you want it to auto start there's various consequences for these actions that you you set as default I've got my lock screen and uh, the typical um, interface there I uh, just want to show you how I've set it up and I find it very fast, the on quadrant it scores just under 4000 um, but it does behave quite well, I've got here various widgets as you can see, games uh, in folders, uh, widgets for news, BBC News, BBC Technology, Flipboard, favourite couple of uh, widgets for music, bottom one being the Google Music one. I've got Google Plus, um, Twitter Caster, AA Calendar, eh, sorry, A Calendar, and then I've got my favorite widget with the alarm, Droid, and um, basically it's really, really fast, and the, 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 the main thing I love about this is the fact that the battery lasts me almost two days, not quite two days, almost, a day and a half, a day and three quarters. Uh, you go into any... Um, of my applications down here, if we go to Titanium Backup, which is my favorite app, just to show you what kind of uh, partitions I have here, I've got 259 megabytes free of the internal ROM, I could liberate more if I wanted to, I've got so many applications, applications that I don't even use, but you know you know what, most people just download applications, I'm one of those, uh, even though I'm not going to ever use it, I just have it on my device just because I can and if you look at the various scenarios that are available to me I can actually restore um, 
or where is it? Da, da, da. There it is. Backup all user apps, 216 apps. So that's uh, Titanium Backup, the best uh, application I bought on the Google Play Market. Llama is a really great application. I'm really loving this. Um, it allows you to to basically set various events and um, that will actually be triggered based on the uh, the cellular data's uh, towers, whatever they call them, the masts. You can see here the various cells, the various profiles. Uh, for example, if we look at the quiet profile that I've created for now with a different color, you know, it's going to have a ring tone of one, notification of one. Okay, I don't want to go too much into this, but um, yeah, this is this is my my favorite. This is after a year and a half of using this device. I'm just about probably to to the Galaxy S4, um, but I am very happy with the way this is running and uh, I would suggest anyone to give it a try let me know how you find it if you're able to get um, a solution or any ideas on how to get the uh, the Wi-Fi to work on my workplace um, with the extreme ROM then I think that would be my favorite because obviously this my UI is running 4.1.2 but still it's definitely no slouch and very very pleased with it hope you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching and I'll be doing some more as soon as I get some time. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye.